AI have launched an interesting feature called Tasks for ChatGPT. Tasks is currently in beta and it's available to Plus Pro and team subscribers. Will be available to everybody, including free subscribers, probably within the next couple of months. So we're going to have a look at where it's located, how to use it, and to give you some ideas on what you might use it for, but just a bit of a, an overview and description. So at one level, it allows you to just have basic, simple reminders. So an example of that might be to remember a meeting or even your mum's birthday or something like that. So you can have these reminders on a one-off basis or a recurring basis. So your promise for example, for your mum's birthday might be, please remember to remind me on the 6th of June every year of my mum's birthday. As simple as that. And then it would send you an email and potentially a notification via the browser at that particular time. Now I say potentially because that could be a bit of a glitch as far as my setup is concerned because I'm not getting these push notifications via the browser. But the email notifications work great and everything else seems to be working fine on tasks so no big deal really. Perhaps more interesting as well as functional reminders, you can also ask ChatGPT to carry out a particular action or task, hence the reason for the feature being called tasks, again, at a pre-appointed time, either as a single task or as a recurring task. So examples of these might relate to news, weather, share prices, creation of reports, and that sort of thing. And we'll give, a few, give you a few examples in a second that might help inspire you to use tasks and come up with some specific ideas that are relevant for you. So let's get into where Tasks is located and how you can use it. So at the moment we're on ChatGPT 4.0. Now we need to drop down to 4.0 with scheduled tasks. Seems a bit of a strange way of doing it to me because you would have thought it would actually be included in the main GPT 4.0, which I think it probably will be in time, but you just gotta to remember to set this one there, and you can see it then comes up with chat GPT tasks, but just make sure you have set it for that particular instance of chat GPT, because otherwise your task won't be remembered. So you can then go in here and add a task such as send me a report of UK business news every day at 4pm. So you can do that and you can send it off and it will probably flash up with a little thing there just for a millisecond or two saying create a task and then it'll confirm that it has done that. So there we go, there's my task that has been set up and what I can do, I can go in here, select that, I can edit it. So if I click edit, you can see I can change all the details, the task itself, the instructions and the timing as well. I can also pause it if I want to. We'll look at that in a second. And it's then confirmed it underneath and we've got the regular icons here. So this will read the reply out loud. That enables me to copy it. That's giving feedback, those two, to ChatGPT. And that allows me to change the model to a different uh, different model, such as ChatGPT 4.0, for example. Okay, so that is... a. Uh, Nice example of some information that ChatGPT is going away to actually ask for, uh, research and create at a particular time. So let's go into the settings area of tasks, which is quite useful to see how that works, and also look at some of the tasks that I've already set up. So what you do there is we now go over to the profile picture, go to tasks, you can see it's clearly labeled there, and select that, and these are the list of all the ongoing or scheduled tasks that I've got happening, including this one that we just set up there. And once again, you can see you can edit it, brings up the same box as before, or I can click the three dots there and pause or delete it. And here's a listing of the other tasks that I've set up. So they're around weather, 
social media and AI news, business news, uh, again, um, a statistic for business courses that I can use in social media, social media tip, a motivational tip, and there we go, there's the remember the mum's birthday uh, reminder there. So it is worth noting that you can only have a maximum of 10 tasks at any one time, which is a bit of a shame, but hopefully OpenAI will expand that to allow us to set up a few more tasks. And you can also see that there's a one-off completed task that's listed here that I could delete if I don't want it uh, on the system anymore. So great that you've got this uh, handy list of everything that's been set up and hopefully this will give you a few ideas but really anything around news reporting reminders particularly perhaps stuff around share prices financial information would also be a good one because that's always uh, always changing and as I mentioned before, could be a specific date and time you want this information, could be daily, weekly, monthly, or even several times a day. So it's tasks on ChatGPT, I think it's really useful and interesting feature because it's the first time that ChatGPT is actually going away and doing something automatically, if you like, without you having to give it a prompt at a particular time. So interesting feature, potentially very useful tasks from ChatGPT.